Welcome back to another exciting update uh, for Project Hercules. So we now have the 16 holes drilled and tapped M10 in both sets of cases. They don't go all the way through, they come down just about to the, the top of the radius. It's a bit of a tedious operation because each hole needs to be tapped three times with a starting tap and a number two tap and then a plug tap to make sure the thread is cut all the way down to the bottom. And it's a nice it's a nice thread. They're, they've all gone in really well. They've all gone in parallel. It was done on the, the drill press here using this point to center onto the taps. So that's gone really well. Both sets are done and the next operation then is to bore the inside of the cases. So this set of cases have been bolted down to the bridge port and are with four M10 bolts what I've done is to bolt on the compression plate that was in the last video. So the compression plate has been bolted down paying particular attention to try and get the, um, the clearance between the compression plate and the engine case is the same. So it's pretty much flush on this side and it's pretty much flush on that side. The last thing you would want is, because there's a tiny bit of play at the moment, these are bolts, not studs. You wouldn't want the plate to be slightly off one side because once this is bored out, the barrel will fit onto the plate, the plate fits onto the cases. And if it's slightly off, it won't affect the operation of the engine, but it will look a bit shit. <laughs> and the idea is for it to look nice as well as to, to work reasonably well. Um, it's meant to be a custom bike after all. So the plate is bolted on, it's all been squared up in trude, so, so this is perpendicular to the, the boring bar. And what I've got on the boring bar at the moment is a clock. And I'm clocking on the edge of the plate, not the casting itself. Because what I want is when I bore out the casting, you can just about see the lip there. There isn't, there isn't much that needs to come off the inside of the casting. It's only a clearance for the spigot on the bottom of the barrel. But as I bore this out, I don't want to be boring from the center of the casing. I want to be boring from the center of the compression plate so that when I finished, it'll be completely flush with the compression plate all the way around the bore. And the only way to do that is to clock it on. So I've got this clock onto the end of the, the boring head. With a bit of effort, you can just about turn the, the whole thing. And you can see that as, as you turn it, that clock here isn't moving at all, stays on zero through 180 degrees, which is what we want. I can't turn it through 360 because how I've bolted the engine cases to the bed of the mill, this just fouls the back of the clamp for the clock. But I can turn it through 360 and by, sorry, through 180, which includes going through the, the center. And by turning it through 180, including the center with a, a very minimal amount of movement there, I know that I'm as close as I can get to the center. I say minimal amount of movement because this is quite an old Denby mill. Um, it's probably turn of the century, something like that. You can see from the way that it's driven, this isn't something that you would find in a modern workshop where the health and safety is a bit of a concern. In fact, to start the machine, when the belt's tension, you have to pull that up with your hand because the motor's a little bit uh, old. And similarly, as there's no capacity to start, you have to flick both these switches on to start it and then flick one of them off. Um, it works, it works well, it's not as dangerous as it, as it might appear. The first time I saw Bob do it, I thought, my word, you, you crack on. <laughs> I'm not touching that machine. But uh, I've done it a few times myself and, it, and it's, it's fine, absolutely fine. So the next operation is to take away the, the clock uh, to replace this bit of silver steel with the boring bar uh, and then to start boring out inside here. Once that is done, the barrel and the cases will be able to be put together for the very first time. And that is quite the moment, even though there's no internals at this stage, it's going to be an exciting thing to see the full sized completed engine together. I don't know if I get a chance this weekend, but as soon as that happens, obviously I'll post another video uh, and that'll be the next update. So that's where we're at at the moment. Thanks for watching.